the new upcoming Boeing airplane will shock you. The Boeing 777X, which has been called the world's largest and most efficient twin-engine jet, was supposed to go into commercial service in 2020. However, since it was first announced, there have been a lot of delays. Folding wingtips are a first for commercial aviation, and might be the most interesting thing about the outside of the plane, which is now set to make its debut in 2025. But what would it look like when seen from the inside? At the Farnborough Air Show, a trade show for the aviation industry that took place this month in the UK, Boeing was proud to show off a test version of the 777-9X, which is one of the two versions of the 777X. This gave passengers an idea of what they could expect in the future. Since it was first put into service in 1995, the Boeing 777 has made the company a lot of money and is still the wide-body plane that gets the most orders. The 777X, which will replace the popular but getting more and more old 777-300ER, is on track to become one of the main airliners made by the company. The huge size of the experimental plane is one of the things that stands out the most about it along with the fact that it is full of different tracking devices. This flight takes less than 10 minutes to complete, making it the fastest commercial flight in the world. First, let's talk about how big this plane is. To say it's big would be an understatement. We should call it an enormous aircraft instead. Let's get started. The plane is 251 feet long which is longer than both its predecessor, the Boeing 777-300ER, which was 242 feet 4 inches long, and its successor, the Airbus A350-1000, which is just over 240 feet long. In its standard two-class configuration, the plane can hold 426 people. A big part of the cabin of the demonstrator jet is now taken up by testing stations and huge water tanks that are used to keep the plane in the right balance while it is being tested in different situations. The plane is the same width on the outside as the 777, but its sidewalls are narrower than those on the 777. This means that 10 18-inch wide seats can fit in the economy section. The windows are another thing to think about. Not only are they 16% bigger than those on the 777, but they are also higher up on the fuselage to let in more light and give passengers a better view of the outside world. Inside the 777-9X demonstrator, there were no overhead bins on display. However, Boeing has said that the overhead bins on the production model will be able to hold 40% less weight and twice as much cargo as standard bins. Boeing says that the best parts of the 777 and 787 Dreamliner families have been combined in the 777X, which also has some new features. There are clear similarities between the two types of planes. The windows on this Boeing are a lot bigger than those on earlier models. The windows on the 777X will be about 16% bigger than those on the 777, according to estimates. Julie O'Donnell, a member of Boeing Commercial Airplanes Communications team, says that the plane has the same amenities for passengers as the Dreamliner. This is why LED lights are being used and the humidity is going up. During a tour of the plane, a member of the flight testing team told CNN Travel that the 777X can maintain a lower cabin altitude of 6,000 feet, just like the Dreamliner. The member explained that this helps with fatigue and the plane also has better technology to counteract turbulence. The 775,000-pound plane has General Electric GE9X engines, which are the most powerful engines that have ever been put on a commercial airliner. They use 10% less fuel than the ones that were used on 777s right now. The flight deck is inside the cockpit, and it has touchscreen displays that can be used by more than one person at a time. This lets both pilots use their parts of the lower display at the same time. James Hanley, one of the test pilots who was on board the plane, couldn't say enough good things about the modern system, which shows that pilots like it. Let's talk about how the Boeing 777X has been going through a rigorous testing program. Heads-up displays are set up in the modern cockpit of the plane. The plane's folding wings have a span of about 73 meters or just over 233 feet and they're controlled by one of a number of switches inside the plane. 
The wings, which are made up of carbon fiber reinforced polymer, were made especially so that the plane could use the same gates, taxiways, and runways as the 777. It's the first time that folding wingtips have been put on a commercial airliner. Even though Navy fighter planes designed to land on an aircraft carrier often have folding wingtips, this is the first time they've been put on a commercial plane. The plane's folding wingtips are a first for the business aviation industry. Because of this, the Federal Aviation Administration in the U.S. has made new rules for the Boeing 777-9X and the Boeing 777-8X, which is similar to it. The testing crew says that the Boeing 777-9 has been putting itself through rigorous flight testing, both on the ground and in the air, and that it has made a lot of progress during this time. The plane took its first flight in January 2020. Since then, it has been in the air for more than 2,400 hours. Now that that's out of the way, let's move on to the show this plane puts on in the air. It wasn't just part of the static display at the Farnborough Air Show, which was held for the first time since 2019. An amazing aerial show was put on for the crowd. An airplane took off at a nearly vertical angle and then did a number of amazing moves, much to the delight of people watching from the ground. Before the jaw-dropping performance, O'Donnell told CNN Travel, I never get tired of seeing people see the plane soar, and he meant every word. After getting back to Seattle, the plane is now parked at Boeing Field, where it has resumed routine activities. This recent high-profile appearance comes after Boeing said a few months ago that it would delay delivery until 2025 because of an updated estimate of the time required to meet certification requirements. During the Farnborough Air Show, the plane soars through the air during the demonstration flight. So the question is whether or not anyone has ordered a bigger Boeing 777X. Let's find out. The Boeing 777X has been ordered by about 376 different people. At the Farnborough Air Show, CEO Akbar al bakar told reporters that he was thinking about putting in a bigger order. He said that Qatar Airways would be the first airline to get the planes. Mr. Bakar also said that the first company to get the plane will be Qatar Airways. Qatar Airways, which is the country's state-owned flag carrier airline, went on to finalize an order for 25 of Boeing's 737 MAX 10 planes. Meanwhile, Delta Airlines announced that it plans to buy 100 of the largest version of Boeing 737 MAX, which was also on display at the aerospace event. These two planes were shown off in Doha. After the MAX was involved in two deadly accidents in March 2019, the plane was grounded for the next 20 months. This rule was taken off in November 2020 after new software and updated training for pilots were put into place. Stan Deal, the CEO of Boeing Commercial Airlines, said that since the MAX has been back in operation, there has been a high demand for it. Thank you so much for watching this video. That was all from our side. Please make sure to give this video a big thumbs up and subscribe to this channel in order to support us and get new updates about our amazing new videos. We'll see you soon with another video.